I love my school. I love my school. It's like my second home. I look forward to going to it. I still go every day. And um, I just like to overlook the school, as I say now, not like a mother, not like a teacher, not like a mother, but like a grandmother. My hobby really is my love for children. So I thought I would just start a little play group. I had a beautiful garden, and at the end of the garden there was this famous garage that I thought could make into a little nursery room. So I decided, yes, that's what I would like to do, and I would be very happy doing it. So I started the school with six little boys. It just coincidental it was boys, but they were uh, children of friends of mine. Every morning it was lots of fun to open up the garage, bring out the things into the garden, and, and do the activities with the children. It was, uh, you know, hear them laugh, and obviously the, occasionally somebody falls down, but, you know, uh, it was just such fun. I really did enjoy that very, very much. After a while, the group started growing with children from the neighborhood too. So I thought, well, maybe I should move into the Jardins area because it would be more convenient for, for the parents. So I found this house in the same little um, square that we have the school now. We were there for five years. And the house still exists, but what happened then was the physical space was limited. As the children, you know, we had to accepting more children. And a house then came vacant on the other side of this square. And I thought, well, maybe we should move into that house. It's got a little more space, garden space, and the house was bigger too. So we moved into this house and um, we spent two years there. And then the house across the road, which was a lovely big pink house at the time, now it's cream. They painted it cream two years ago, but it used to be a pink house. It's one of the old Brazilian style houses inside. All the doors and cupboards and everything were of Jacaranda. It was a beautiful home. I stood on, on the corner of the square there, and this is where the big change came for the school. I never, ever thought that a dream of St. Nicholas was going to come true, you know. It, I, I just didn't think of it at the time. When I did stand on the corner and look at the pink house, then I thought, well, that's a big responsibility, it's a big challenge, and, and something still told me that I should keep going, keep going. So I did. I did for, for the love of the children that I had, I think. You know, I wanted them to, to keep them <laughs> and, and build up a school with them. And that's exactly, you know, it grew like that. I always told the parents, this is like home away from home, but at the same time, it's a, a good school, you know. It's, you, you, your children's coming to learn, going to do well, and but we are going to keep that atmosphere, a homely atmosphere. Love is, is a very, very important part of your life, I think. It was like an extended, my extended home. I did what, with the little ones, what I had done with my own children, give them the love and care, and, uh, and I think continue doing that throughout the time that I was more active in the school, I would, because I think it is very important. Of you both. You never forget. No, I don't. You've done so much for the school and doing so much for the school. I hope I die doing so much for the school. <laughs> I 
I have to thank all our wonderful staff for their dedication, loyalty to the school. This is, <laughs> I get a little bit emotional, <laughs> but it's due to them and their very, very important part of the school that has made it grow. We now have 12 houses. So our, our St. Nicholas family has now gone from Pinheiros and part of the family into Arthurville, and, uh, which is very nice. It's like normal family, you know, when you have children and they start, they grow up and they go off. Well, now we've gone off into Alphaville, and it is a very beautiful school as well because it's purpose-built, so obviously it's, it's lovely. What the future holds, one cannot tell, but maybe our role in the future on our unique adventure continue to expand, drifting from the core values of love for what we do and care for whom we do it. This takes me back to the garage and all I wanted to was to have the opportunity to bring out the best in children. So my goodness, I had everything there with me, everything that I loved. <laughs> the school, my children, my grandchildren, everything. So as I say, I'm everybody's granny. <laughs>